So Backstreet Boys, you guys are like a fine wine. You just get better with age. Um, Kevin, you're back obviously in the group. What's it like this time round as opposed to the last time round? It's fine. It's fun. <laughs> I mean, it was fun before, but it's fun now. I think we appreciate each other more. I think we appreciate everything a little more now. Uh, we're definitely more patient with one another. We communicate better with one another. Sometimes, sometimes we want to strangle each other. But for the most part, <laughs> it's just great. It feels really good. Are you guys surprised by the reaction you kind of got from everyone? Not necessarily fans, but everyone knows you're a veteran boy band, so it's kind of surprising, isn't it? It's really, um, it's, it's an honor. It really is. Uh, there, the, it's a little surprising, yeah, but it's, it's also yeah, it's, it's, it's also just an when, honor. You, when you think about like the <laughs> One Direction doing stuff in their videos, paying homage, uh, you know, people wanting us in their movies, you know, literally calling us saying, "Hey, will you be in our movie?" <laughs> you know, with this is the end, and you know, all these things that are happening, it just feels like it's the right time, and it's meant to be. You know, it's it's. Really There's a cool. lot of love in the air right now yeah. for us, and yeah, we can feel it, and it feels good. And you mentioned One Direction there. Have you got any advice for them on lasting the test of time like you guys? First and foremost, you gotta have fun and love what you do. Stay in your own lane and, you know, make sure that you take the time for all your fans. Stop, take the pictures, autographs, even if you're having a bad day, because without your fans, you wouldn't be anyone. You know, we wouldn't be here 20 years without having the best fans in the entire world. You have to so, pace yourself as well. Yeah. You know, you it's not a it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, you know, to have a career, a long career in the music business. So you have to pace yourself. And make sure you make good music. Now talking of new music, you guys have got the new album coming out, which is yes. very exciting. Um, what kind of sounds it got? Is it new Backstreet Boys or old Backstreet Boys? Who have you been working with? We started recording a year ago, right here in London, England, uh, with producer Martin Terefe. We uh, rented a house and lived together for three weeks and uh, West went to the studio every day. Stayed there. And uh, it was a great way to start off the recording process with Martin. And then we also teamed up with uh, a producer that we've worked with in the past, uh, Dan Muckala from Nashville, Tennessee. And then we also hooked up with Max Martin again, who made basically most of our greatest hits he's the one that wrote and produced those songs with us. So uh, we feel like we've got a really strong album. We're very proud of it. Uh, we touched on some personal subject matters, some personal issues uh, with the lyrics, and it's a personal album. And, uh, and it comes out July, uh, July 29th. Yeah. We feel like it's a very versatile <laughs> record. We've got some R&B, we've got an R&B song on there. We've got some acoustic songs on there. We've got some middle of the road, straight down the pipe pop music on there. So we're very proud of it. And names that we would know over here, obviously Craig David and Molly from the Saturdays. What was it like working with them? Uh, Craig, is cool. I, Craig was awesome. Craig was, yeah. we, Craig we've was always good. been fans of his work. Yep. Uh, Molly was awesome. I actually, <laughs> I'm like, Molly was awesome. Um, I just finally heard the uh, Saturdays saying I had never heard any of their stuff before, and, but she was an awesome, awesome writer, sweetheart, very, very talented. Unfortunately, the song that we all worked on didn't make the record, but there's always the next one. And the new single is out on iTunes right now. How are you hoping it's going to do? How are you hoping it's going to be received? We put our trust in, um, into Max Martin, who we've worked with in the past, and I think he delivered a, a song that um, best represents what we've done in the past and what we're doing now. You know, um, I mean, we trust him. He's a great writer. It's our 20th anniversary, and just him being involved, you know, is an honor as well. I, I think people are going to like it, and there is a lot of response. Like the responses that I've heard of it, especially like in the UK, they're like, "We really like the song. Like it's really, really catchy." And the same thing you say. So you never know. We just we put it out there and see, you know, see if it sticks to the wall, you know. Now, obviously, you guys had cameras following you around while you're recording this new album um, for Backstreet Boys: The Movie, which I was lucky enough to get to see a sneak peek of. Um, what was it like having the cameras following you around? It was great. We wanted to do something special for our fans, just to, you know, kind of give a little something back to them. You know, 20 years we've been together. Uh, you know, they've actually they they know so much about our lives and. 
um, but they've never actually actually been in the studio with them. So we just wanted to give them the opportunity to see what it was like. You know, we were literally, they came, the cameras started with us here a year ago when we were here in London. They were with us at the house when we all lived together. They were with us in the studio. We were doing all the writing sessions. You know, they came across to America with us. We were working with other writers and, and producers and they were, you know, following us when we went back home to our hometowns, which was really cool because, you know, not only had, you know, we had a chance to show each other our hometowns, but, you know, it's once again, gave the, the fans a chance to get to know us individually and where we all came from before this all started. It's, and, um, it's deep. It's deep. It's therapeutic, you know, in a way to go back and share our stop. stories, <laughs> share our stories from the beginning. Um, you know, it teaches us even more about each other, even after 20 years which I think the fans will, will enjoy. You yeah. know, it's not just making the music and in the studio. You know, it's, it's, deep. Mm -hmm. it's deep. And you guys have come a long way. I mean, we have Backstreet Babies now. Nick, you're mm. no longer the baby of the group. Do you yeah, he is. Oh, he's always he is. He still is. He's that always the baby. He acts like a baby still. He's always never baby. <laughs> baby. 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 <laughs> do, we, do we think we'll see uh, mini-me's running around in years to come, maybe? Baby Backstreet's? Well, As an action group, singing? Well, I have the only girls so that may not work out. <laughs> You're like, baby of the Well, yeah, but like the maybe more like the Peas, man. Like the Black Eyed Peas. Man. That's, what, that's what my son Bailey says. Yeah. He says, Daddy, we can be the Black Eyed Peas. So exactly. that was after, you know, AJ's little girl was born. Yes. And to 20 years more, guys, you think you still got it in you? Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I hope see. so. As long as we're having fun <laughs> and enjoying it and, uh, getting to be creative and create content and music that we love. Yeah, who, who knows? Who knows what, what the future holds? Get sleep. Yeah. You guys have definitely got some <laughs> of the most dedicated fans that I've seen traveling the world coming to see you guys. Is there anything that they could do that would still shock you or have you seen it all? Not really. I mean, there's... You've seen a lot. <laughs> but we, we challenge them Yeah, we too. challenge them. Try to beat it. We're always trying to beat ourselves. So. Everybody's yeah, super yeah. excited. They can get us on radio so. again. Yeah. Yeah. Number one single. Yeah. And get us a bunch of Twitter fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, At Backstreet Boys. And if I was going to be really selfish, I would ask you guys to sing a bit of All I Had to Give because that's my favorite song. But um, if I get you guys, because you do it so well, is to sing a bit of your new single in a world like this, that would be amazing. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> In a world like this, some back down. I, I know we're gonna make it. In a time like this, when love comes round. I, I know we gotta take it. In a world like this, when people fall apart. In a time like this, when nothing comes. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you so much, guys. And good luck with the new album and single. Thank you.